Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall, and today we're going to learn about how related facts help to solve addition and subtraction. For today's lesson, you will need a paper and a pencil, and some counters or something to help you count with. We'll wait for you as you gather these materials. Today you will have an opportunity to practice your portrait of a graduate attribute as we discover related facts and how they help to solve addition and subtraction problems. You can show your math thinking through writing and speaking throughout our lesson today. As we are about to participate in our number sense routine, remember to be a good communicator by communicating your ideas out loud to yourself or someone nearby. Okay, here we go. How many dots do you see? How do you see them? There are six blue dots on the screen. Okay, here it comes. Splat! How many dots are under the splat? Maybe you thought about six dots in total and you took away the two dots that are still shown to learn that there are four dots under the splat. What number sentence could match this strategy? The number sentence that would match this strategy is six minus two equals four because we started with six took away the two dots shown, and finished with four dots under the splat. Is there another way you could figure out how many dots are under the splat? Maybe you figured out how many dots are under the splat by starting at two and count it up to six like this. Three, four, five, six and saw that you counted four numbers. So there are four dots under the splat. What number sentence could match this strategy? Two plus four equals six. Hmm, our two number sentences seem similar. Let's keep this in mind as we go through our lesson today. Okay, are you ready to check to see if you were right? Here we go. There are four dots under the splat. We were right. Let's take a moment to think about the following real life scenarios. Pam and Lisa were collecting pencils at the end of the school day. Pam found seven pencils and Lisa found two. How many pencils did they collect? Whenever we have a problem that we need to think about, it is important to make sure we understand the information given and what the question is that is being asked so we can make a plan for our thinking. Let's ask ourselves some questions about this scenario. Practice being a communicator by answering these questions out loud to yourself or to someone nearby. What do we know from the problem? We know Pam found seven pencils and Lisa found two pencils. What are we trying to figure out? We need to figure out how many pencils they collected. Before you start to solve the problem, Take a moment to visualize this scenario in your head and make a plan for how you might solve it. Now use your paper, pencil, and anything to help you count 
with if you need, go ahead and try to solve this problem on your own. Let's try to solve this problem together. Here are Pam's pencils and Lisa's pencils. If I want to find how many they collected, what should I do? I should add Pam's seven pencils and Lisa's two pencils together to figure out how many they collected. Maybe you counted them one by one like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or maybe you knew that Pam had seven pencils and then could count on Lisa's two pencils like this. Seven, eight, nine, and see that there are nine pencils all together. Seven pencils plus two pencils is the same as nine pencils. Now let's consider a new scenario. Lisa and Pam put the nine pencils in a container. Then Amy came by and took two of them for the students at her table. How many pencils were left in the container? Picture this scenario in your head to help you with how you might solve it. How can the first problem we solved help you solve this problem? Before we saw that Pam had seven pencils and Lisa had two pencils to make a total of nine pencils. If there are nine pencils in the container and we take away two pencils that Amy took for the students at her table, now we are left with how many pencils? We can use the information from our last problem to solve this problem without even having to count the pencils that are left. Before we learned that seven pencils plus two pencils is nine pencils. This will help us solve nine pencils minus two pencils is the same as how many pencils? That's right, seven pencils. We know this to be true because these are related facts, which means seven, two, and nine are all related to each other through addition and subtraction. Let's explore these related facts a little bit more. Let's look at another way to show how seven, two, and nine are related by using counters. We could look at these counters and describe them with number sentences in a variety of ways. We could say nine counters is the same as seven red counters and two yellow counters. We could also say nine counters is the same as two yellow counters and seven red. Or we could say two yellow counters is the same as nine total counters minus seven red counters. Lastly, we could say seven is the same as nine total counters minus the two yellow counters. These are all considered related facts. Consider this, if we know that three red counters plus four red counters 
makes a total of seven counters. How can we use this information to help us solve seven minus three equals what number? Seven minus three is the same as four. That's right. We can see that these are related facts. Seven minus three is the same as four. In today's lesson, we went over ways we are learning to use related facts to help us solve addition and subtraction. Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and a communicator. Were you able to speak so others could understand you? Were you able to write to share your ideas? Now let's think about our time learning together. What is something that you learned? I learned. What is something that you wonder? I wonder. Thank you for joining me today, first graders, in our episode of Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall, and I hope you have a mathematical day and keep on counting. Can't wait to see you soon.